Hi, my name is Mahala Brake and I grew up in Nain, Labrador, and now I'm living in St. John's. My mom is from Labrador and my dad is from Newfoundland. On January 6th each year in Nain, the whole town is very excited for the arrival of the Naliuit. Naliuk means heathen or non-believer. People gather outside in the middle of town to wait for the Naliuit. They wear scary masks, dressed in torn and tethered clothing, animal skins, and furs. They come in from the sea ice to frighten the children and adults and also celebrate the new year. The first part of the night, around four or five, Naliuit sit in front of everyone in chairs while a crowd sings to them and the brass band plays behind them. They bring candy for the children, which is handed out and thrown to the crowd. After the singing, the brass band continues to play while everyone lines up, young and old, to shake the hands of the Naliuit. At the community gathering, the chase begins. People spread out and the excitement starts. You will see many different Naliuit coming from all directions, carrying big sticks and different objects to hit you with. Children and adults run around screaming with fear and laughter, trying to escape the scary creatures. Naliuit can run very fast. People can rarely escape them if they're chased. If you're good all year or you sing them a song in Inuktitut, they will shake your hand and walk away. Parents talk about Naliuit all year long. They use the frightening nature of the Naliuit to scare their children into behaving themselves all year long. They warn them that if they do not listen, the Naliuit will get them on January 6th. The children get scared and think twice about how they were acting. They visit inside people's houses as well, and if kids sing a song, the Naliuit will give them treats. This teaches children the importance of learning their language. It is a truly unique tradition that is mostly unheard by anyone living outside of Nain and the Labrador coast. It is still going strong and being celebrated each year. Mummering or jennying is a traditional custom which is still being practiced in many areas of Newfoundland today. A mummer is a mass performer who wears a disguise while acting foolish and funny. Traditional mummering in Newfoundland involves people dressed in outrageous clothes parading from house to house during the Christmas season. The idea was to hide your identity. Men would dress up as women and women as men. Faces were covered, clothes stuffed, and mittens were sometimes worn on feet. Voices would be disguised and the residents would be greeted at the door with any mummers let in. They would bring accordions and ugly sticks and there would be a kitchen party, jokes, and music complete with drinking and dancing. This lasted until the host guessed the mummers' identities or the food and drinks ran out. The St. John's Mummers Festival is helping to keep the tradition alive and celebrated each year. The festival started in 2009 and has taken place every year since, during December. They have workshops where you can make your own ugly stick or hobby horse, then attend the parade with a bunch of other mummers. You can have a wonderful time singing, dancing, and making new friends. When we talk about our tradition in Labrador called Neliuk Night, people in Newfoundland often say, oh, it's a bit similar to mummers in Newfoundland. Both are celebrated during the holiday seasons and have interesting characters who visit people in their houses. The Neliuk seem to be a bit scarier with the chance of being chased and hit and the identity of them are never known. This tradition tends to be effective with helping children stay in good behavior. Both are keeping their traditional music alive by having it performed in their own ways. I'm proud to have both as part of my culture and heritage. <laughs>